do you tell people they must buy anything in order to get closer to God or in order to personally improve their own life? Yeah, definitely not. Although buying something might help them. <laughs> How like, is that? Well, I've bought many books um, that, you know, I've, at libraries and whatever, I've hired out books, but I've also bought books that I thought helped me develop spiritually and emotionally into a more loving person. So there's some wonderful books that I've read that I've actually bought. Yeah. Um, but I don't believe that anybody needs to buy anything from myself mm -hmm. because everything that I do is for free. So nobody needs to buy a book or buy, you know, something or donate to us if they don't want to donate to us. Um, you know, the only time that we accept donations is when we feel it's given out of a grateful heart. And in fact, the only time we believe a donation should be given is when it's given with a grateful heart. Mm -hmm. And there are many times, as you know, where we've received a donation or a gift from somebody because we don't feel it comes from the right motivation. We've refused it, you mean? You said mm. we Sorry, it refused yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, because we don't believe it comes from the right motivation. Mm. 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 So I feel like uh, there are many things on the planet that will help a person grow with regard to the love they have for themselves, the love they have for the others, and also in their relationship with God. And I believe that if, if there's anything worthy of spending your money on, that's the things you're worthy of spending your money on. You won't have to do it with divine truth, though, because everything we do is free. Sure. <laughs> and do you think it's the act of buying the thing that brings them closer to God? Not the act of buying, no. It's not like a person can buy themselves out of purgatory, as the Catholic Church would, would have a person believe, perhaps. Um, it's not a, there's no way of buying a character. You can't buy character. You have to develop it. You know? So it's impossible to spend money to buy something that's actually going to improve your development. You've got to engage a process, an emotional and intellectual process of development before you're going to improve in the way in which you relate to everyone around you, but also in your relationship with God. So I certainly don't believe a person needs to buy something in order to have some kind of development. One thing I do notice on this planet, though, a lot, is unless a person buys something, they don't value it. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem, because there are many things on this planet available for free that have far more worth than, than, a per than what you could buy something. So, so my suggestion to a person is to not evaluate worth based on how much they've spent on it, but rather on how much it can change and affect their life. That's the, th that's the way to measure the worth of something. But certainly if I found that something was going to improve my relationship with God, I'd definitely buy it if mm -hmm. somebody was selling it. Um, in my case, though, if uh, I believe what I'm teaching does improve a person's life and improves their relationship with God, and I'm giving it away as well for free, no strings attached. Mm -hmm.